Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since I've done my last video, but I've been pretty busy and ain't had time to get in the shop. But with that said, today, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be building a jumbo Jenga set. That way the kids can play it or the adults, you can play it in the backyard, but of course it's gonna be a lot bigger than your normal Jenga. So I'm getting ready to head to my Lowe's and uh, gonna go ahead and buy the lumber for this and we're gonna go ahead and get started on it. So let's go to the store. The lumber list for this project, I'm gonna be using two by three by eight foot, so two inches thick, three inches wide, eight feet long. And I'm also gonna try to get a hold to a half sheet of plywood, maybe a half inch, cause I'm gonna build a box or a container to hold all these pieces for when, once we get them done or whatever. But, so we're at our Lowe's now, and I'm gonna run inside and see how difficult it is to find some straight boards. This right here is what I'm gonna be using. And it is two by three by eight foot. And as you can tell here, it's actual says eight foot. Sometimes they're not actually eight feet long, but that's the stack. And I'm only gonna be using six of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and load them on in the buggy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the two, two by four sheets of plywood. So that's it right there to use to make the box to carry the stuff. All right, so here's the lumber that I'm gonna be using. I went ahead and bought six of the two by three by eight foot lengths. And then I bought two of the two foot by four foot pieces of sanded plywood. And you probably really wouldn't need six of these, but like I said before, the, the pickings of these of trying to find good boards is just is slim to none. So like this part here, this is gonna be Jenga blocks. I'm not gonna be able to have that. So I'm gonna have to cut this piece out just to throw it away. So I went ahead and bought six. That way I can make sure that I've got enough to do what I need to do because I'm looking at doing possibly 60 blocks for the game. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up and get started. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run these through my planer. You definitely don't have to do this, but I have one available, so therefore I'm gonna do it. That way I try to knock down on some of my sanding and that I'm just gonna take off just maybe a 16th on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that thing set up and get the wood running. The reason I went ahead and planed these is two reasons actually. One, as you can see, I did the, the sides and then the edges, but there's gonna be very little sanding for me to do now on them, just bare minimum. But also, since this is gonna be the game Jenga and you're gonna stack all these blocks on top of each other, I wanted to make sure that each and every board was the exact same thickness and width. Of course, you know when you buy lumber at your local store, that some of the lumber tends to vary in the sizes. So now that I've done running through the planer, I know that they're all the exact same width and thickness, and we'll go ahead and get them cut down to size. Okay, I got my table saw set at seven and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these boxes. It's just gonna be a whole bunch of repeat cuts. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a table saw and rip these blocks down to seven and a half inches long. Thank you. 
out of <clears throat> those six boards, I ended up getting 72 blocks, which I'm just going to do 70 to make it an even number. So <clears throat> depending on how many you want, I really wanted 60, but since I got the extra 10, I'm going to go ahead and add it in there, just to make the stack a little bit higher. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take every one of the blocks, since they're going to be handled a lot, and I'm going to use my round over quarter inch round over bit and I'm gonna go ahead and round all the edges before I sand them down. Alright, I finally got all them done, and that took quite a long time, but basically this is what I have here, if you can tell, I rounded the edges all the way around, and went ahead and sanded some, so now when people go on to mess with the blocks, it's going to be smooth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these up so I'll know how big to build my carrying box out of this plywood here, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Okay, I laid all them down like this. So basically, this is how they're going to sit when I build this box out of this for them to sit in. So it's a row of 10. So it'd be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 blocks in total. So now what I'm going to do is, I know these are seven and a half inches long. So I'm going to come up <clears throat> seven and a half inches tall and I'll probably do that all the way around. Then I'll measure how far it is from each end and this way, so I'll know how wide to make the box. So they're seven and a half tall. And now I know that my box is gonna have to be at least 14 and a quarter this way. And I want them to fix snug, so it's going to be 17 and a quarter across. So 14 and a quarter wide and 17 and a quarter across, seven and a half inches high. So I'm going to go ahead and write this measurements down on my plywood and get them cut. All right, so basically what I'm going for is here's the two sides that I cut out of half inch plywood. They're going to go on the edges here and then this piece right here I cut is going to go up to the back side and it's going to butt right up against it and this one will go on this side so that's basically that's the four walls of the of the carrying case that I'm going to use and then of course I'm going to have to cut I'm going to have to measure across here and here counting the half inch plywood so I know how big to make the bottom for all this to set on so I'm going to go ahead and measure this and go ahead and cut the bottom piece out and get to screwing these together. I changed my mind on what I want to do. I decided to go back and I know this is scribble, but what I'm gonna do is I measured two inches across here and then I did four inches to this point and five inches down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on my bandsaw and I'm gonna cut and follow these lines. That way when this is sitting, when the blocks are sitting here, the block should come up to this mark right here. That way you'll have plenty of room to be able to grab a hold to the block and just give it a little bit of design to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bandsaw and cut that out. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I came down and found center. This is where the top of my block's gonna be. So this is what's gonna stick up above the block. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a handle in here. And to get that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a hole saw bit and I got my two starting points marked. I'm gonna drill here and here. And once I get that, that hole saw where the hole's done in these two, then I'll take a jigsaw and just come on across and cut it out to where you'll have a handle to grab on. So I got the box done. I got the slots for the hands. And then where I cut this, and I went ahead and rounded this edge to make them smooth where people's gonna be reaching in. And 
I shot these with brads and I glued them. And also, since, since all the weight's gonna be in the bottom, I went back and put some inch and a quarter wood screws around the base of it. So <clears throat> I'm liable to go back and, and do that, put a screw in up here and one, probably one here, one in the middle, all the way around the four sides, just to make it strong. And then I'll go ahead and put the box in it and see what it looks like. There's the tower with all the pieces stacked up. And doing 60 pieces, it makes it work out even. And as you can see, <clears throat> this is why I did the blocks at seven and a half inches long because it actually makes a perfect square. So that's what it looks like. And of course, I'm sure the kids will enjoy it, playing around with it. I've never been that good at the Jenga game because I always tend to knock the tower over. But they'll like it. Like I said, we probably paint it different colors just to make them stand out. But we're going to see if my measurements are right. I'll go ahead and put all the blocks in here. If this was done right, then it should be just very little room on each side of the box. And the last one. So there it is. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 blocks. And got a nice plywood box to carry them in. You got this dipped down so you can reach in here and grab a hold to them if you need to to pull them out to start the game. But that's it. Pretty easy project. Uh, really not that expensive, not that hard. The box actually is the hardest part about doing it because all this is is just cutting these down to seven and a half inches and making them smooth and round. But anyhow, <clears throat> might paint these, paint them different color, not sure. But that's it. If you got any questions, shoot me a comment. I'll be glad to answer it for you. And like always, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.